Tensions are rising in the Federal Labour Party on the issue of gay marriage. The Greens have introduced a motion urging fellow MPs to canvass the views of their constituents about same-sex marriage. And now one Labour backbencher has broken ranks, saying there is a case for change. But other Labour MPs argue they should focus on more mainstream issues like the cost of living and rising interest rates. George Roberts reports from Canberra. Strength in numbers. Victorian Labor's called in the reinforcements ahead of the state election and a warning to voters. After all that's happened in 2010, no one can doubt it. If you want a Labor government, you have to vote Labor. But what's ahead for the Prime Minister's return to Canberra is dissent in her own ranks. Tensions are emerging within Labor over gay marriage. Having applied the core Labor values of equality, fairness and dignity, I believe that there is a case for change. The Greens introduced a motion calling for a public discussion between politicians and their constituents. It's now time that Julia Gillard and Tony Abbott dropped their opposition to giving their members the opportunity to speak freely. But the coalition's standing firm. The coalition does not support any amendment to the Marriage Act. Another problem for Labor, the rollout of the national broadband network. The coalition's giving the thumbs up to the independent... Are you giving me the middle finger or just the thumb? ..for not giving the thumbs up to the government's broadband program just yet, demanding a look at the business plan. How can you expect us to vote on a $43 billion piece of information infrastructure uh, when we're in an information vacuum? And at least one independent isn't giving the idea a dressing down, saying he won't get in the way. We could have gone without telephones for 20 years, uh, but if we stopped every time because there might be some new technology around the corner, then you simply won't have telephones for 20 or 30 years. The Coalition's keeping up its pressure on the government to take the $43 billion plan to the Productivity Commission. Some independents support the move, but argue it needs to be more wide-ranging than a simple cost-benefit analysis. George Roberts, ABC News, Canberra.